Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. This video is a continuance of my Be Adventurous series and for this video I am playing with materials from the Check Beads exclusive monthly subscription box. The theme of the box was Voyage, so there was a bunch of ocean themed stuff in it. So here is a necklace that I made. It turned out so cute. I'll show you a close up. The beads are Czech crackled glass. There were these really neat shell beads in there, the metal and teardrop beads and I love the helm charms and my favorite charm here that came in the box is this ship one it's so cute so I made this necklace and I went into my stash to see what kind of chain I had I was just going to use a curb chain because of a ton of it but then I realized well this is kind of like a nautical themed necklace I should do a rope chain and so I found this rope chain in my stash which is actually from Sarah Coventry so it's a really good quality chain that does not tarnish it's antique and um yeah this is the necklace I made and I did the ends like this here instead of doing a regular bead stringing wire at the end I did seed beads at the end because I'm using a split ring that kind of had a uh, opening that I was worried the wire would slip through so I put seed beads on the wire to prevent that from happening I don't know if you've ever thought about that but it's a really good idea to prevent your beaching wire from slipping through your jump ring but yeah this necklace turned out really cool I love it it's so cute now I wanted to make an anklet also and there were some other beads in the box cathedral beads and um, little rondelles there's a Montana blue and there's this aqua one here the cathedral really cool I love the orange ones the most and I still had another charm left over so I ended up making this little anklet here little seahorse charm out of the box let's see the only thing that I used from my own stash for both of these pieces was the seed beads on this one the jump rings the chain the clasp and the beach ring wire and the crimps so basic things everybody has and this one here I use the seed beads from my stash jump rings, clamshell tips, lobster claw, and I think that's it. All the beads and the charms are from the box. So I'm going to show you how to do this one. I usually show you guys how to do beach ring wire with crimps, but this time I'm going to show you how to do it with clamshell tips. So I'm going to move some things around and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, I am back and I started filming this and I realized that my camera was not actually filming. So that's why my wire here is a little bent and thank goodness I realized it before I crimped my wire. So, here is the pattern that I came up with. I'm using all of the rondelles from the box, the Montana one and this aqua one. There was also another rondelle in the box. It was a teal color, but um, there wasn't as many as those. So I used the ones I had the most of, the Montana, the aqua, and I also used six cathedral beads, two green, two orange, and two yellow. And it was kind of a random mix, so you guys might have different colors. You probably won't have the same ones that I have. But if you don't, that's okay. You can use something different from your own bead stash. And I use seed beads to space them out. And my inklet is going to be 10 and 3 fourths inches long. You can also make it longer just by putting an extender chain on the clamshell tip or um, doing jump rings as a chain. And I kind of wanted to do a bead dangle, but I'm not actually going to do it because... I didn't have an extra one of these. I wanted to have a cathedral bead as a dangle, but I don't have one that matches this, so I'm just staying with this. Alright, so this is my pattern. And I do have a seed bead in between these two cathedral beads here, because when this is tightened up, the jump ring sits on top of it, and it prevents the jump rings from slipping through the bead string wire. So, I hope that makes sense to you guys. Alright, and... I think that's it. That's all I tell you. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I have my clamshell tip on here, and I have a little crimp bead. Okay, and whenever I do crimp beads, I just don't like to flatten it and then close the clamshell tip over it because I feel like there is a chance that the bead string wire could just slip through the crimp bead. So what I like to do is I take the wire and I pass it back through the crimp bead in a circle so that way the wire is going through there two times and I crimp it. So I already did this side like this and now I have to do this side which is a little trickier. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Pass the wire through like this, okay, 
and you're going to need uh, chain nose pliers to do this, a fine pointed pair. I'm going to grab right down here, the closest I can, okay, and pull my wire through. And I don't want any slack because I'm going to have slack by not even trying. I know that I will. And the goal is to slide this down the wire. See that right there? I have a loop there. I'm trying to get the smallest loop possible. For some reason, if you push the wire, this loop in, it will close down. I think it's the friction of it touching the nylon coating that prevents it from doing that. I need two pliers. Okay. Alright, looks like I got it. Okay. And, oh my gosh, it looks like it's going to be perfect. Okay, so see how I slid my bead string wire through there twice? And I got the loop really small. I hope my camera's focusing in on that. Now I'm going to crimp this. I'm just going to flatten it. You can't do a fancy crimp on it because it's in such a tight space. And I love these crimping pliers. They have the smallest tip on them. Okay. Just making sure that I close it up. And then I'm going to cut my wire. Oh, I didn't cut it close enough. I don't want it to poke. It's kind of hard to see. It's too much silver. It's so shiny. Alright, there we go. Now oh, I got it. Then I'm going to close my clamshell tip. And what I like about this clamshell tip I'm using is it has a loop on each side. My other ones have... Um, a metal wire that I fold over and have to form into a loop and this one here is actually more secure and I did talk about this earlier but uh, it, it might have been in my bad footage that I didn't get and I, I was talking about how um, my clamshell tips that I'm using are stainless steel my jump rings are stainless steel my beach ring wire is stainless steel my toggle is or my, my lobster claw clasp so um, all of those won't tarnish the only thing that will tarnish will be the charm, but I can replace it if it starts to tarnish because I have a stainless steel jump ring here that I can open up and I can put a stainless steel charm on that because I also have those in my stash. So I'm just making sure this is closed. Because it's stainless steel, this is harder to close. But once I get it closed, it is super strong. Okay. So there we go. It's completely sealed shut now. I'm going to put my jimp ring on. So see it has two loops on each side which is, it makes it so strong it does not come open. It doesn't pull open like the other clamshell tips. Okay. Close this shut. And these are stainless steel jump rings, so I do have to fidget with them to get them to line up just right because they're so strong. And there we go. Finished inklet. It's really cute. I used to make inklets all the time, and I've kind of gotten out of doing it. But I used to be obsessed with making them. That's cute. I love that. 
And here is the necklace. So this is it. This is our two projects that I made with the Check Beads exclusive monthly subscription box. I'm also making earrings with the box, which will be my next video. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to zoom in real quick so you guys can get a close-up of what they look like in case you want to do the same pattern. This is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure that you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.